What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. This is your host Manik and it's been quite some time since we got the Oxygen OS 11 Beta 1 update on the OnePlus Nord. And yesterday, even the OnePlus 7 and 7T series got the taste of it. And while I did share quite a few of the changes it brings to these devices in my previous video, still there are some things that remain unexplored. So I thought why not to share all of those features in one single video. So here it is, a compilation of all the new features that have been added with this open beta 1 update. Starting off with the camera, so here the UI has changed pretty much and some of you were asking about that 48 megapixel mode option. Well actually it is there kind of. Well in photo mode, just tap on this 3 dot menu on the top right corner. Here choose the image resolution option and tap this second one. And now you are in that 48 megapixel mode and you can take images in higher resolution now. I know it isn't something well specified so OnePlus should take care of it with the stable version. Another good feature in camera is this long press of shutter button to switch to short video or long video mode. So just hold on to the shutter button and it will start recording the video. Now just slide that red button and drop it on this lock icon and this will keep your camera in the video mode and it will keep recording, else it will just stop the recording. Next feature you might have missed is this notification history option. So you can turn it on in settings. Now go to apps and notifications and under the advanced option you get this toggle. So turn it on if you wish to and now you will start to see the history of notifications that came in past 24 hours and which you might have missed accidentally. And there is even a shortcut in the notification shade. So as you pull it down, here it is on the bottom left. And I find it really handy as I constantly miss out on important mails and stuff. So this is really cool to have. After that we have this canvas AOD and horizon light feature which was there on some devices but now we finally have it on all devices and it does work just fine. So you can find it in settings under customization option. So choose the color and you are good to go. Similar is the case with this ambient AOD and you get a lot of options to choose from and it is also located in settings inside the customization option. Though after selecting the AOD type, you need to turn it on under the ambient display option in settings. So change it to always on if you want AOD all the time or else schedule it as per the time you want and it will turn on the display. Though I must warn you that it takes up quite a bit of battery, at least on this beta version. Though things are fine for me on the stable version on my OnePlus 8T. Also note that this always on feature is not available for the OnePlus 7 and 7T series as of now. So you will have to wait for the next version it seems. Also you can make the home screen somewhat interesting with this canvas AOD and this one will convert your image into a sketch and give this cool looking effect on the home screen. And it does work just fine for me. But it is a bit buggy on open beta 1 on the OnePlus Nord and it might not work for all of you. So don't complain as of now and wait for the next stable version. After that we have this whole one handed UI redesign everywhere. And I'll not get into that but you will see all of the OnePlus apps redesigned to this UI. And to this date I don't completely love it but it does make things handy. Though I don't like the fact that the dark mode is not completely dark now and it kills the whole motive of it. So waiting for that completely dark mode toggle and that will get added soon hopefully. Also one thing I observed in the battery tab is with the battery charts. So these just don't reset to zero when you charge your device to 90%. And I don't know why this was changed and these now reset on 100% only. And I have no idea if this was implemented as a feature or a bug. But since I missed it out on the full review, I thought to let you guys know about it. One more thing to note is with phone styles and you get only Roboto or OnePlus Sans phone and there is no way to get the older phones as of now. So that is what it is and I got many comments from you guys about older OnePlus font but sadly it is not coming back. After this we have some other changes that are more related to Android 11 like this power menu that is now redesigned and though I find it a bit weird at times but it is helpful if you use Google Pay and even Google Home devices as the controls show up directly on the lock screen so that is one less thing to do right. And also I like the fact that we can use OnePlus Dialer and Messages app and you can check out the video card to learn more about it. Though one feature that is not working in Messages app is this AI Messages feature. And that can be disabled by going to settings inside the Messages app. 
So turn on this message classification and rich media rendering option. Now just close that pop up and leave it alone for now. Last but not the least, we have this re themed notification panel that has this clock and alarm info on the top, along with a dark mode toggle, which makes the life quite easier as in the previous version. We had to go all the way in settings to do that. So yeah, this was pretty much required. Anyways, these are most of the big changes that you will see on Oxygen OS 11 Open Beta 1. And if you feel like watching more videos like this one, do press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.